Hello everyone. Welcome to another episode at Wackerash Gaming in collaboration with the amazing Kratos team. Firstly, I would like to make a shout out to Kadzilla, whom has made some awesome videos in regards to the new hero appointment feature. I've added a few links to his videos in the description below, and advice folks to also watch them. There is just so much going on in regards to the hero appointment feature, that the more survivors are aware of them the better. Let's be clear, the hero appointment feature will be released to all states in version 15.40 on the 9th of May as announced in the State of Survival official Discord. On the back of my previous video, I made some assumption in the early days of this feature, and as time went on, and the dust has settled, this guide is born. So you will have a lot more clarity in this video. How does the bonuses work? Unlike the aircraft feature, where bonuses on health and lethality are only achieved when the aircraft is assigned to the specific march, the hero appointment bonuses are said to be global. This means as long as you've assigned your top-ranked heroes to attain the bonuses, all your marches with any heroes will attain the bonus. So it works with any heroes, even if the heroes are not assigned in the appointment. Katsilla has already made a test on this and proven this in his video. How do you upgrade them? There are two currencies. 1. The command manuals, these are used to enhance the hero's slot bonuses. You can obtain these through the flash duels or by rallying infected fiends. I've clearly noticed that on average I'm getting command manuals on my first 5 infected fiend rallies and then nothing afterwards. Also the average command manuals that I received across the 3 days of rallying infected fiends are about 10 command manuals on average per day. Here the amazing folks at the Kratos team were able to extract the following information to help you digest some of the numbers, if this is something that interests you. Alternatively, I've provided their Discord in the description below, if you would like to join them and get access to a whole host of amazing information. To summarize, from what I've understood right now, using 10,800 command manuals. Let me repeat, 10,800 command manuals, once you have maxed all the enhancement levels, you will attain in total 360% additional attack and another 360% defense stats across your infantry, rider and hunter heroes. 2. The next currency, we will talk about the service badges, these have dual purpose. A. You can use them to unlock the positions so that you no longer need to wait for the countdown before unlocking the march commander or the rally commander or the reservoir commander slots. B. Secondly, you need them to unlock the position bonuses. Again with the help from the amazing folks at the Kratos team were able to extract the following information. What is the correct upgrade path? We need to understand three things. March Commander, R1 position bonus unlocks health of Hunter first. R2 position bonus unlocks health of Rider second. R3 position bonus unlocks health of Infantry last. Rally Commander, R1 position bonus unlocks Infantry damage first. R2 position bonus unlocks Rider damage second. R3 position bonus unlocks Hunter damage last. Then finally, Reservoir Commander, R1 position bonus unlocks infantry lethality. R2 position bonus unlocks rider lethality. R3 position bonus unlocks hunter lethality. Consideration number one, in my personal opinion, infantry is the most important in any build setup, followed by hunters and then riders. Then, damage and lethality trumps over health. Consideration number two, you will need to spend your command manuals to unlock all slots of any commander to level 9 before you can use the service badges to upgrade the position bonuses. However, as I mentioned earlier, the position bonuses here are for hunter health first then only, rider health and infantry health, so to repeat what was Kutsila said, it's trash. So the best advice is for you to not waste any of your precious service badges on the march commander. The reason this gorilla is advising you this is because, when you take into account consideration 1 and consideration 2. You look at this the easiest and most efficient path a rally leader can focus on, the answer is clear, to focus on the rally commander position bonuses, because it's clearly more bang for your buck right now. Then depending on how much you want to spend, to unlock the reservoir commander slots, and followed by the position bonuses associated with it. The golden nugget would be unlocking the rally commander slots. This should be given more of a priority, as the position bonuses here are for infantry damage, rider damage and hunter damage. This feature will be extremely beneficial for rally leaders and would have the biggest impact for SVS and Reservoir Raider Reservoir League. 
the feature requires you to enhance each position to level 4, then go back and enhance each to level 8, then enhance the slots each to level 9 to unlock the first position bonus of infantry damage. The next tier is at level 13 before you can unlock the rider damage, and the final tier is at level 20 before you can unlock the hunter damage. For rally leader, this gorilla will advise you to focus primarily on this path for the biggest bang for your buck. In regards for the reservoir commander slot, the reason I avoided to recommend this first is there is a steep price to pay to unlock the remaining days. One service badge is counted one remaining day. However, even an hour is one remaining day. Therefore, if there is 9 days and 2 hours remaining on the timer for the slot to be unlocked, then this will cost you 10 service badges. Right now, we don't know how much are the cost of the command manuals or the service badges. However, we can already see that the service badges are going to be rare and a lot harder to obtain, with only a limited amount of these dropped through the flash duels feature. With this in mind, I would rather wait for the timer to countdown and focus my upgrade on the rally commander slots as mentioned. From what I can clearly see, this feature is heavily weighted towards the rally leaders, and the timing is especially ironic as the start of Reservoir League Season 4 Top 32 games. Low to medium spender, especially rally joiners, there is no benefits for you to obtain or to unlock this hero appointment feature. So, this gorilla would advise you to focus on upgrading your plasma buildings, obtain the P9T11s first, followed by P10T11s. For me personally, I find the aircraft feature to be more relevant for low to medium spenders rather than this hero appointment feature. I will summarize in two statements. 1. Rally leaders you are screwed, you need this to be relevant. 2. Rally joiners this feature is trash for you, so you do not need to waste your time on this anytime soon. Well folks, that's my two cents. Thanks for watching. If you like my videos, please smack on the subscribe button leave a comment and turn on your notification bell for more amazing videos.